What is up YouTube, this is PZZSCN here, and today I'm going to be doing a new Zippa video, and this time we've got a double feature. Yeah, I don't often get two Zippas at a time, but I figured I wanted to this time. One thing I do want to go ahead and note is that these did not come from Beach Trip 2016, and in fact Beach Trip 2016 will be going up at some point, it's just as I mentioned I'm having a little bit of technical difficulties with that series right now, so that's why you haven't seen the vlogs yet. But as soon as I can get those sorted out, and as soon as I can get a little bit of a buffer going in terms of episodes, then I will start uploading those as soon as I possibly can. But for now, we're going to go ahead and check out two new Zippos, alright? And as you can see, once again, it looks like this is a new trend. They both are in standard black boxes, and they're both in white sleeves. So I guess this is something new that Zippo's starting to do. Alright, so let's go ahead and start with this one. So let's get this one out of the way for, real quickly. This one is going to be model number 229 regular royal blue as you can see so this is a model that i was reminded of before we actually went to the beach and i decided that i wanted it really badly after seeing it after seeing like a picture of it on the internet or something i don't specifically remember where i saw the picture but i saw it nonetheless and i was really quite into getting it so that's why i have it now and uh, as i said again it does come in the uh, standard black box there it is again regular royal blue Let's check it out. Nice. This is a very dark blue uh, matte Zippo, as you can see. Um, I do have the blueberry matte as well, so I don't know. I might have the entire collection of, of matte blue Zippos by this point, although it seems like they make a navy blue. I think they make a navy blue, actually, so maybe I don't quite yet. But yeah, check this thing out. Let's get it out. There it is with a sticker on it. Very nice, nice, interesting contrast, uh, as you can see. And it's just a really pleasing blue color, as you can see. I like it a lot. Um, this might even become a user, I don't know. Probably probably will, actually, because I really like it. Go and take the sticker off. Peel it up like that. Keeps the residue left, keeps the residue down. In fact, I think that can be right there. Nice. Here it is, let's hear the ping. Nice. It is a Mad Zippo, so it doesn't have a, a really good ping, but you can tell that it pings a little bit. It actually came with a fairly tight lid, as you can see. It it doesn't want to go down all the way, so that's kind of interesting. Um, yeah, check that out. The date on this one is J of 15. That is October of last year. The insert, for those of you who want to know, the insert is... JF15. So this is actually one of those cases where we have a matching case and insert date, which is actually getting kind of rare these days, so that's kind of neat to see. Um, always nice to see that. And yeah, I don't really have a heck of a whole lot to say about this one, other than I just really wanted it after seeing a picture of it on the internet, and I'm glad I have it. This might actually become a user. I do not know. So there we go. That is it for the Royal Blue. Let's go ahead and let's move on to the other one, which I'm a little bit more excited about because this one was technically on my official wish list. So this one is model 28888, <laughs> wow, neon orange. Yep, I got me another neon Zippo. This one's gonna be a little bit more interesting, I feel. And again, you got the same thing right there. Oh, they're both kind of printed low. Um, anyway, here it is. You can see, this one is pretty much glowing, screaming at you. This is totally hazard orange over here versus this more subtle blue. And uh, yeah, this one is very nice. Check this out. There's a sticker. All right, so the sticker and the orange are actually different colors. That was one thing I was kind of wondering about this one is if this, the sticker and the orange itself would be the same, but it doesn't appear to be. Let's go ahead and let's take this off. Alright, now one thing you will notice is that this is actually a fairly shiny Zippo. Um, for whatever reason, the neon finishes have a very shiny paint on them, as opposed to these matte Zippos. I mean, you can see the difference, right? Very, very shiny, very glossy on this one as comparison to this one. So that's kind of interesting. Let's hear this one's ping. Nice. I think this one pings maybe just a little bit better than that one does. Not bad. Not shabby at all. Let's go ahead and see the date on this one. E of 16. That would be May, I want to say. 
Yep, that's May of this year, so a couple months ago. Maybe about three months ago. The insert was G of this year, which is June of 2016. So it, this is a couple months old, um, as opposed to the case. And yeah, again, once again, as I mentioned a lot in some of my other videos on Neon Zippos, you can see that out here it's practically glowing. Do you see that? How my hand is actually has some radiating orange light hitting it? That's very cool. I actually did grab a few things. First of all, I did grab a UV light just so I could really show you and prove the point that this thing does light up when struck by a UV light. Now you can see this thing really is glowing. It actually seems to turn yellow on camera, but in reality, it's glowing in orange color as you can maybe see from the uh, Made in USA sticker right there. Very nice. As you can see, it's just a, a RAF power UV light that I seem to like shining the camera with whenever I show it. Now I also wanted to show you guys a comparison between this and the regular neon orange matte, which you can already see is not nearly as radiant. You see that? This one is a bit more subtle. Now I will say, if you drop either of these on the ground, you will have no trouble finding it because they are both very bright orange. But, I mean you can see it, right? I'll show you real quick. Just like looking at the bottom stamp, you can tell that one of them is definitely a lot more brighter, a lot more popping, I guess, than the other one is. And another interesting fact is that the orange matte does not, in fact, react to UV light. As you can see, neon orange over here, totally reacting. The regular orange matte, not at all. Not at all. It's a little bit disappointing, truth be told. But again, like I said, this one does. Yeah. I also brought with me the uh, neon yellow because this is the other one of the other neon colors that they make they also make a neon pink which I will be getting at some point in the future because I'd like to have all these neon colors so there you go the neon yellow appears on camera to be glowing a lot more brightly in fact than the neon orange but they're both glowing about the same person truthfully and uh, again here's a look at the uh, two bottom stamps this one really does appear to be glowing out here and the reason why they are reacting so brightly is because the sun does output UV rays, obviously UV light. So because of that, we are getting a bit of a glow from both of these Zippos. Now it is actually overcast right now, but it's still actually producing. Uh, there is still enough UV light getting through that it is making these things glow. And you know what? I do believe that is actually going to do it for this video because, yeah, they're both very simple designs. I do not know um, anything else to say. So. Guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Do feel free to let me know what you thought of it in the comments down below. Let's go and let's get these things all organized out. So the two new ones here are the royal blue and the neon orange. For those of you who might be curious, no, the royal blue. Whoa, that looks cool on the camera though. The royal blue does not react to UV light. Although it does appear to be doing something on the camera, but believe me, in person, it's, it's, it's totally not reactive. So, yeah. Anyways, guys, I do believe that's going to do it. Thank you so very much for watching. That looks completely white on camera. I'm going to do a bit of that. That helps a little bit. Thank you guys so much for watching, and adios.